let's see what's going on today. So now I can get a better look here. Mike took the quarter panel off. So he's got the, um, well here's our, here's our, here's our trusty mascot right here. Here he comes. Come on, Henry. Get in here. Come on, buddy. There comes Henry. Henry doesn't know it yet, but he's going to be served up on a platter in a couple hours. Isn't that right, Henry? Oh, he pissed him off. He left. Oh, well, fuck him. Anyway, um, so, yeah, he took the quarter off. Like I say, he's fitting it. you got to fit everything. But here is the outer wheel tub. Trunk drop. All up and on there. He's working away on that. So he's going to start putting the... You know, you got to spray all this, like this all, you got to, we got to finish cleaning all this up and we spray them behind here. We don't, we don't leave it. Like you can see where we weld them here, all the weld through primer. Now we'll clean all this up and we'll spray this with a nice rust paint. We'll scotch spray it, texture spray it up in those areas. It's just what we do. We do it to all cars, right? Um, so we had the truck, we've got the frame you can see on the wheels, it's rolling. Got the shocks in it, got the rear shocks in it there today. There they are. Pretty much it's, that, that's it. It's, it's time to put the body on it, but we took all the floor out of it. All the, look at that, it's just a big empty hole. The floor is out. And we're going to be redoing the floor next week on it and then bolting it down. I actually got the wood coming some point tomorrow. I got the wood coming for it. Then I'll stain it over the next couple days and let it dry up for the weekend. And hopefully, probably not Monday, but probably Tuesday, start putting it together. And by the end of the week, this thing will be bolted on the frame, done, finished, rolling. And again, for if you're new watching, this is a 69 GMC Suburban. Go back, check out my videos, you'll see it. 69 Firebird. And we'll see what's, uh, see what's going on over here. So, I think Henry probably went down to see Sean after I said I was going to eat him for dinner. Well, he ain't got much better luck there because Sean will eat him too. Um, so, working away on the, the Corvette. Oh yeah, there, there he is. Yeah, he's just, he's hanging out. So there's the vet. We got this, got this quarter panel all stripped down now. Got a bit more stripped on the roof. Uh, working on the front nose, stripping it. Sean's playing with all the hard bits. Got to do all that shit by hand. Yeah. So, still a bit more to go, but it's getting there. Yeah. That's what's happening. Yeah. And there. Yeah. Don't know. So, we'll keep plugging away. Yeah. <laughs> what a stupid bird. Look at him. <laughs> God, they're so stupid. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, all right, we'll get out of there. Um, yeah, so that's what's happening right there. Oh, and here's the, here's the wood that came out of the Suburban. That's it. Keep it around for templates, right? Copy it. Copy all that. So, <clears throat> yeah, close this up. Oh boy, yeah, it's the day's end, yeah, so yeah, so basically, yeah, that's what happens, just so you know, and what we also do is on the quarter panel itself, we spray all the back side of it, because you're never going to get, like on the quarter panel up in here, you're not going to get to that when it's covered up with all this, so we'll spray everything. Now another thing you can do, which I've mentioned in past videos, which is what we do sometimes on some vehicles in the corner pieces. You see that, see that machine up there? Zoom in, I got all different nozzles for it. And it's a squirter. And what you do is you put your wax in there. That's a wax made by Proform. Tells you right there, protection. And you can you can get in you can get in places with that and you you know with the nozzle and you, you lay it in there and you squirt it obviously it's air is pumping through it's like it's almost like a paint gun and it'll 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 pump wax in there and you know what wax does it coats everything right because it doesn't matter what you do there's always going to be somewhere that's going to have some sort of bare metal somewhere on something right that's why things rust it just is what it is but yeah. Um, don't know what else to really show you I think that's about it. I think we're ready to uh, 
I think we are ready to rock and roll with a bunch more new projects. We got a few more coming in. Glad you guys are out there still watching. And uh, that's it. So hey, it's always fun time at old time. And uh, well, I gotta go get ready and sharpen the knives for Henry. See you later.